Apple introduced a lot of interesting features on iOS 16, including the lock screen, photos, messages, mail app, etc. Let us see a couple of interesting features here. Apple introduced the widgets on the lock screen itself and you can customize all of them. Make sure you unlock your phone and tap and hold on the lock screen and here you can create multiple lock screen based on your choice. Let us edit one of them here. So tap on this customize and you have an option to change this widget and the clock you can customize and also change the color of the phone. And the third one is this tiny widgets you see here. And you have a couple of options available here. From all these apps, you can add the custom widgets right here. And there is a tiny menu button here where you can enable the perspective zoom and also the depth effect. You can create multiple law screens based on your choice. You can go for a featured one with multiple options here, including the weather, and you can go for the photos, emoji, and lot more. I like one of the lock screen here, the photo shuffle, where you can add multiple photos and automatically shuffle these photos in the lock screen. Add a couple of photos into your list. You can customize this widget here and you can add additional perspective zoom, depth effect, and the shuffle frequency you can set here for daily, hourly, on wake up. And whenever the phone wake up, the photos will change into the next one automatically. It's pretty cool, right? You can have multiple lock screens and you can set the focus on each lock screen based on your choice. For example, you can select a dark theme and set the focus for the sleep mode and you can simply swipe up for the home screen. There are some changes in the notifications. The notifications will stay on the bottom until you scroll up. And also you can scroll up to see the additional notifications right over there. In the notification settings, you can display the notification as a count, stack, or list. And also there is an option to schedule summary. And you can turn this on and you can set when you want to see the first notification summary. And here it will show you the top notification apps that's alert on your screen. And if you are setting a timer, there is a nice display on the notification itself. You can post the timer right from the lock screen or you can play again. And if you are playing any music, you can see a nice widget right here and you have plenty of space on your lock screen. Meanwhile, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe our channel. Please click on the subscribe button here and press the bell icon. iOS 16 introduced this dictation function on this iPhone keyboard. Tap on this mic and you say, and you say what you want to say, and it will automatically type it for you. And meanwhile, you can interrupt. and type yourself and it will wait for you and you can continue with the dictation. So it's pretty accurate and interesting and you can add some emojis. Smile emoji, angry emoji, love emoji and you can start type again by simply dictating. Pretty cool, right? For those who want to get some feedback while you type, iOS 16 introduced this haptic feedback that you can turn on for your keyboard. Just go to settings, sounds and haptics, and keyboard feedback. And here you can have sound or haptic selection there. And let me put back this haptic. And when you go to the notes, and you can feel it while you type it. Now let us see some feature changes on photos. They change this lock photo options right on the top. You have an option to hide the photo, duplicate or copy or even go for a slideshow. And if you scroll down, you can see all your hidden photos and recently deleted. And you need your face ID to open it. And if you want to enable this feature, go to settings and scroll down for photos. And you have to enable this use face ID feature to lock your hidden photos with your face ID. And next interesting feature on these photos is go to albums and there is an option to find duplicates. And I see 
around 132 duplicates and you can merge it together if you want to do that. And another interesting feature on these photos, you can get a photo portfolio and convert it into a sticker. Tap and hold and import create. Separate the image from the photo itself or directly share from here and send us a PNG. And you can copy this PNG image into your email or iMessage or anywhere you want. You can get a live translation right from the camera itself. You have to point the camera and select the test you want and just tap on the translate button. And one additional thing is the currency translation. And this is useful when you go for a vacation and I just want to translate this INR and there you go. It's detected as an INR and if I tap on it, it will show you the current local currency and now it's equal to 977 USD and it will convert into the USD right from there. There are a few security updates introduced on this iOS system. The first one as we mentioned before, you need to have your face ID to unlock the hidden or recently deleted photos. And the second one is a long awaiting feature. You can lock your notes with your face ID or you can use your custom passcode to lock the notes. Go to settings and tap on notes, select the passcode and there is an option to select the device passcode, custom passcode or the face ID. And the interesting feature, the search button they implemented right here on your home screen. And if you tap on the spotlight function and they put that search window right about the keyboard and that's pretty convenient though. And just in case if you don't want this spotlight function here, go to the settings and tap on the home screen and show spotlight and turn it off. And if you wonder what is your password for your Wi-Fi network that you recently joined, tap on the network there, tap on the password, unlock with the face ID and you will see the password. The iOS bring a new update for updating the OS version and there is an option to install system and data files automatically There are two long waiting features for the message app, undo message or edit the send message. Let us see those. When you send a message, and just in case if you want to remove it, just to tap and hold on the message and undo send. There you go. This will work only the iOS 16 platform and the other end they must have this iOS 16 to work this feature. And the next feature, once you send any message, you can edit the send message. Just to tap on it, edit, and change it to month, send back. And you get up to 15 minutes to modify any message that you already sent. And you can get a preview of any message but just by hold and tap on it. And you can delete right from there. And the next feature on iMessage, you can undo any read message. You can see now the badge number is four, just in case if you want to read this message later, and you can just scroll left and tap on the icon, the number is gonna change. And you can delete any message right from here, and you have 30 days to recover it back if you change your mind. Just like the message app, there are a bunch of changes introduced on this mail apps too. You can draft a new email and instead of using the send button, just tap and hold on it. And there is an option to send now or you can send 9 p.m. tomorrow or you can have a date and a time that you can pick from the calendar. The next interesting feature is undo the send email. For example, I send this email and there is an option here to undo the send message and if you tap on it, you can retrieve back and modify the email. And you get a few seconds to do that undo send information. And if you want to get a reminder to read your email later, just scroll left and see the later button here and you can ask to remind in a one hour or tomorrow or there are a couple of other options that you can select from the calendar. This is not related to iOS 16, but just in case if you want to delete a bulk emails, just to tap on here and scroll down and you can delete all of them in one shot. Are you using this widget screen a lot? There are a couple of changes they introduced on this widget screen. First of all, if you are using this stock app, there is an option to hide the details and show more stocks. There you go. Now you can see more details over there. Also for the stock app, if they have any dividends are coming in, you can see right here. There is a huge change in the weather app. And for example here, you can see 
lot of details in this weather app and it's pretty nice UI though and let me pick one day and here you have nice graph of this temperature and the peak temperature for today and the lowest one and here there is an additional option where you can see UV index, wind, rainfall and pressure. Let me check the pressure and you can see the nice graph over there. So there is a huge change in the weather UI if you are using that weather app for a lot. And there are a few more features on Apple Wallet. You can add your license if you are in Arizona and Maryland now. And according to Apple, they are working with more states to add the license here. And you can keep your license on your iPhone. So far, there is a huge improvement in this home app UI. You can see all the cameras just in one location and you can see all the scenes, favorites, everything they rearranged to. And you can see your thermostat status, the lights, security alerts, everything right from the main home screen UI. Apple introduced this sleep option more in details. In addition to just a sleep number, you can see more detailed data of your sleep, including the amount that you slept and the four stages of your sleep. And you can get a comparison. And also if you are taking a medication in every day, there is a medication reminder that you can go to Apple Health app and medications and add medication, vitamin A and D. And add a time and you can set a time for every day, one unit and nest and you can select a shape color and there you go there is a medication reminder on your log every day 11 40 am so those are the interesting changes on ios 16 and thank you for watching this video and if you like our video don't forget to subscribe our channel and please provide your feedbacks and suggestions below in comments and we'll see you on another video soon